Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing another Disney movie for my Disney movie marathon. And it's the one titled, yeah, Hatching Pete. So yeah, it's one of these high school movies again. Well, why did they make so many of these high school stuff? Uh, they all come off the same. It's always a high school setting. What the hell? Like I haven't seen this like a bunch of times in anime TV shows throughout the years. No, like this hasn't been overused so many, so many, so many times already. I mean, holy hell. Uh, jeez. <laughs> it's over. Just, no. Just no. Stop it. Stop overusing this. Uh, yeah, Christ. Okay, it doesn't exactly help matters that, yep, it's one of these. Christ. So, I'm already thinking. So skip it, skip it. And where's my Wendy's, damn it? I still need some of that. Oh man, I need it. Mr. Monkey, stop slacking off. Yes, we talked about this before. Stop slacking off. Ah, no, no, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give you a banana because you have not earned it. No, go clean the toilet or something. Anyway, as usual, I have to talk about the plot, so let's talk about it, shall we? Even though you could already guess what's gonna happen, it's that generic. So anyway, high school setting, here we go. So put my center around this uh, student, Pete. Let's just say that uh, he does find that uh, this individual, this girl, uh, his crush has already been axed out by uh, Dill, the captain of the uh, baseball team. So yeah, it's a sports thing here, folks. Oh, come on, Mr. Monkey. Did you clean everything well? I hope you did. I'm trying to talk about the story of how old man character is attempting to, to actually date out with this girl. The thing is that at home, Pete's father tells him that to get uh, her attention, you know, the girlfriend, the girl that he likes, and to be his girlfriend, that he has to give him something to notice. You know, something that's worthwhile, I guess. It's okay. But... Uh, the thing is that on the way to the basketball game, uh, the girlfriend, the potential girlfriend's, uh, let's just say that her brother and Pete's best friend uh, comes over to ask Pete for a favor. And yes, of course, he has something to do with a mascot, of course. Yeah, seriously, I hope you cleaned up everything right, okay? You always seem to do like a half-assed job. I mean, really. I'm trying to talk about some drama with, these char with this character here. Christ. But the thing is that he discovers that he is logic to the suit. So, of course, he pleads for Pete to wear the chicken suit. So, of course, as you can guess, hijinks is, has become a part of the problem. And yes, yeah, a bunch of crazy stuff would happen, obviously. So, even though it's supposed to be the other guy that's supposed to be in a chicken suit, Pete takes the, um, I guess, the job, so to speak, instead. And of course. Oh, uh, Mr. Monkey. Don't try to argue with me here. Oh, you want your banana? Here. You think you did a great job? Here, here, here. Yeah, you, you got your damn banana. Anyway. Yeah, despite not really wanting to do this initially, the main character realizes that he is getting the intention of the girl that he likes. So he decides to do this whole chicken thing full time. So, yeah. Like I haven't seen this kind of a plot line a bunch of times. The main character likes his girl, but those things in the way. Okay. All I can really say is about this movie is that... 
Yeah, it has something to do with family representation or whatnot, or passed down to family's generation or something. Because the one character who, who couldn't play the chicken, Pete has to pretty much do it in secret. What? What? I just, I don't, I just thought the story was, was pretty dumb in here. It's very shallow. It feels like it didn't amount to nothing. Not really. You didn't, I didn't really get a real sense of struggle. Not really. And it's just unfortunately that Disney was just, the Disney company was just getting far too comfortable. And as a result, it's lazy work like this. At the end of the day, nothing here means anything. Like, at all. It just feels like it, it's just fluff. That's all it is. It's just fluff at all. <sighs> Man. I mean, at, le at least have a good story. What, it feels like there's no real consequences. Not really. At least it didn't feel like it would be anyway. And, uh, but yeah. I honestly didn't like this film. Like, at all. Whatsoever. So, ultimately, this entire movie just, it, it's boring and completely unnecessary. And the plot just came off contrived just to have the character be in a chicken suit. Of course, just no. I mean, I know there's an audience out there that likes, really likes silly and meaningless movies, but even this gets kind of abused a lot because there's a lack of grace. There's nothing captivating here. And, okay, it just come off unbearable. The chicken character, I guess. He was supposed to be a chicken. Whatever. Ugh, just no. And where's my Wendy's, damn it? I need my meal. Ugh. Anyway. Alright. I got some coffee at least, so I guess for the time being, that will do. Another thing is that the acting is terrible in this movie. Also, also, like that wouldn't matter much anyway because the the dialogue is terrible. The way the script was, was written was just not very good. Because the thing is, that it just came off like, maybe they could have had something here. Maybe they could have had something a creative. Maybe have something in the sense that, okay... When you're in your high school years, this is when you discover who you are. Who are you as a person? How do you fit in society? Um, what are your dreams and desires? So it just seems like wasted. This could have been something. So if anything, that pissed me off. Wasted potential. You could at least try to be more creative with this premise. I don't know. Whatever. Point being, even with the best actors and actresses, it still wouldn't be enough to save the movie. So, again, like I've been saying... Come on, everybody! Skip it! Coffee. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time. Whatever.